interrupt this concert by the Philharmonic Orchestra to bring you a special news bulletin. See you later, alligator. Likewise. Come in, Edward R. Sparrow. This is Edward R. Sparrow. I am about to bring you, for the first time, actual person-to-person communication with another planet. Yes, we have finally established radio contact with Mars and the Martian people. Come in, Mars. Mars, are you there? I say, can you hear me, Mars? One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We gonna rock. We seem to have interference uh, from the comets. Ah, but now the air is clearing. Come in, Mars. Mars, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Mars? I hear you knocking. But you can't come in. That can't be Mars. It's on the wrong wavelength. Why, it's another planet pretending it's Mars. Oh, yes, I'm the great pretender. I'd better check my supersonic, microphonic, polyphonic, diatonic planet selector. Hello, Mars. Can you hear my signal, Mars? Why don't you write me, darling? Send me a letter. You don't understand, Mars. I want to talk with you, person to person. Hello, Mars. Is this Mars? What Mars? This is Television Persia. And you're lousing up our biggest program, Persian to Persian. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Before we came on the air, I had perfect contact with Mars. But there now seems to be atmospheric interference. Gale? Storm. Ah, yes. Now it shows on the stratospheric barometer a heavy storm. Ain't that a shame? My tears fell like rain. Wait a minute. There's Venus. And she's placed herself right between the Earth and Mars. Venus, uh, this is Ed Sparrow. I'm trying to contact Mars. What's the matter? Don't you like me? Eddie, my love, I love you so far. I, I want it for you. You'll never know. Far. Well, you've got to admit she's a heavenly body. But my job is to find Mars by Jupiter. You won't find it by Jupiter. Mars is over there, on the other side. And now, a word from our sponsor. Attention all bald-headed men. When you go to sleep at night, does your head keep slipping off your pillow? When you go bowling, are you embarrassed because friends stick two fingers in your ears? Then why not try Fuzzo? We have a letter here from a satisfied customer in Texas who says, I've been rubbing Fuzzo into my scalp for nigh on to 40 years. And man, I want to tell you... I got the hairiest fingertips you ever saw. And meanwhile, back in the States... We return you to Edward Osparrow and his historic person-to-person contact with Mars. Hello, Mars. Mars, uh, this is Edward Osparrow in New York. Are you there? Hello, Mars. Sram Tenalp. Sram Tenalp. Sram Tenalp? When Croy? When Croy? When Croy? Oh, I get it. That spells New York backwards. Listen, Mars, I'm getting your signal backwards. Look, I- is there any way you can spin your planet around on its axis so you're facing the Earth? Mm. Oh. She's trying to roll it around. And somebody's helping her. You got to roll with me, Henry. All right, baby. Roll with me, Henry. All right. You better roll it while it roll. Everything okay now? Crazy man. I'm digging your maximum. But I think Henry here is a little hacked over the fact that you're in the act. Maybelline, why can't you be true? Oh, Maybelline, why can't you be true? You don't start doing the things you used to do. Oh, stop flipping, Henry. You're a cool cat, but I just latched me onto a daddy that's really out of this world. Earth Angel, Earth Angel Um, will you be mine? Well, that's uh, very sweet of you, miss, but, uh, uh, look, uh, millions of Earth inhabitants can hear your voice now, and I'm sure they'd like to know something about Martian customs. Uh, For instance, on Mars, what do people eat? People. You mean you're cannibalistic? 
Mm-hmm. All except rock and roll fans. What do rock and roll fans eat? Three squares a day. And what about your clothing? Clothing? Yes. What do girls uh, wear up there on Mars? Wear? Why, absolutely not. We interrupt the special news bulletin to bring you a program. We return you now to the concert by the Philharmonic Orchestra. (laughs) 